Uh, okay, the, the AHP DSC TA basic software includes uh, capability of measuring oxidation induction time. Uh, also, you have the DSC temperature versus uh, temperature. DSC versus temperature graph. Here you have uh, the DSC time graph. And on the first page, you have the set point temperature, the temperature increase rate, and a general information of the so, uh, sample, uh, such as uh, sample weight, company, operator, customer, uh, O2 flow, N2 flow, uh, date, time, sample number. Uh, in the first page, you, you will have the general parameters of the sample. For the soft, uh, for the operator, um, can easily save these parameters in text file. You can see here. I'm um, uh, saving the, uh, the sample parameters such as p one hundred dot txt. I'm saving in test. You see, it's a text file including parameters. Next time, the operator for changing these uh, parameters, uh, uh, there is no need to write here and easily can load the text file. All parameters will be set as saved in text file. Uh, in the second page, the operator see the DSC time graph. Uh, it is uh, used for measuring the oxidation induction time. Actually, in oxidation induction time test, we will have a graph uh, something like this. Two vertical lines are, uh, the first one is temperature, the other one is DSC the unit of energy uh, normally for example in polyethylene the operator set the temperature 200 or 210 degrees centigrade for checking the oxidation induction time in this temperature and set the temperature rate um, according to the standard in 20 degrees centigrade per minute the temperature will rise with a specified rate to be stabilized in a specific specified value 210 uh, when the temperature of the chamber is rising uh, nitrogen will be automatically opened mm, the sample need not to be oxidated uh, during temperature rise uh, and here on right side in vertical line is DSC this is zero line of DSC. You have two, two uh, sensors. One is for sample. The other is empty as reference. When the material is uh, melting, it just consumes energy to be melted and absorbs temperature uh, in surrounding area. The DSC line will be something like this for polyethylene. During temperature rise, it will be uh, go down and then come up. After melting is done, it will rise again to be stabilized in, uh, in a uh, horizontal line near to zero, zero DSC. After uh, the temperature is stabilized, here, for example, before that uh, temperature, we have N2 flow in the chamber. After the temperature is stabilized, uh, nitrogen will be closed and oxygen will be opened. The oxidation of the material in that temperature will be started. Uh, in isothermal section of the graph, the graph will be uh, go something uh, in uh, something near to zero line, uh, and after a specific time, uh, it will be break like this. Uh, 
This is actually energy that sample delivers to the surrounding area. This is uh, uh, reverse comparing to the melting section because in melting section uh, the DSC will, will be dropped because sample is absorbing energy from surrounding area and when it's uh, being oxidated uh, it just delivers energy to the surrounding area and Senso sees this energy uh, from the oxygen opened till this time the offset uh, the offset uh, onset point of the brick of the DSC graph will be the OIT value of the uh, sample it will be shown a minute you see the onset uh, the onset temperature is uh, uh, I'm just magnifying the section it's something like this this is a baseline this is a tangent line of the brick of the graph, DSC graph. This is the uh, onset point. From the starting of the oxygen to the chamber to the onset uh, section of the DSC graph is uh, OIT value. Uh, after this uh, brief uh, demonstration of the DSC and temperature uh, versus time graph, uh, I will show you how the graph uh, uh, will be received by software from the uh, machine and then uh, I will go to the next step. Thank you.